All right, so this is gonna be a second attempt at this video. So recently I asked you guys which kind of videos you would like to see in the future from me. And it seems as though a lot of people wanted to see updated reptile room tour. So this is gonna be it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty in depth. We're gonna try to take a look at each and every animal we have here at Safari Reptiles. Um, last video I shot actually, for whatever reason, it cut out seven minutes of it. So just gonna basically redo it try to go a little bit faster than the original one because the original one I only had time to show about three quarters of this hatchling rack so um, it's gonna be maybe five parts um, this reptile room tour and uh, probably gonna release one part every couple of days um, anyways let's get on with it so this is our vision rack by the way um, you could fit about 64 of these small tubs in it uh, obviously we have less than that because we have the two bigger ones uh, at the top. And we also have this bin here which I usually shed the snakes out in. Uh, I fill it with water whenever a ball python has bad shed. Um, typically all I do is put ball pythons in there because all of our other snakes usually shed fine. Uh, and this rack is controlled with a helix thermostat. Uh, a couple of you wanted uh, more details as to how we house them. Um, the Helix controls the Zoomed uh, heat cable, I uh, forget what it's called, probably like Repti cable or something like that. Um, down there you can see we have our humidifier. As I said before, our ball pythons, sometimes they don't shed too great, especially in winter. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we're located in Quebec, Canada, and we actually have really dry winters up here um, because we use so much heat. Uh, to keep our rooms warm and the heat obviously removes the moisture from the air so typically your household or your area in which you live in Quebec is going to be very dry uh, hard to get it above 30 percent humidity in the winter anyways that's enough of that uh, let's look at our first snake here we have a Mojave spot nose yellow belly and this is a female we got her from Don Patterson uh, just recently moved her into this bigger bin. We actually have two males down here that uh, mm, I will show you just for a second. One of them is actually in shed. Uh, they're nothing too special. We're going to focus more on the animals that look a little bit more different, obviously. You know, some of um, the more subtle morphs, like what we'll see down here, the, uh, the special, we'll just like go through that quickly because I don't want to take too long to explain. Uh, what's different from that and a normal because it looks really similar to a normal uh, Up here. We have a male pinstripe 100% het albino uh, He'll be ready to breed this year. We only have two het uh, albino females though So we're not really looking to keep this guy long term if anybody's interested uh, Just let me know and you can have yourself a uh, pinstripe 100% het albino ready to breed for you this year uh, A little bit closer here so in this bin here we have our special. Our special is currently uh, waiting a bigger bin over here, which we, which is where we keep our males. Um, yeah, so right now he's kind of cramped in here, uh, unfortunately. But uh, all the big bins right now are taken up by other animals. So we got to sell something to get him into something bigger as soon as possible. Right beside him we have just a, a normal here. Uh, it looks kind of different compared to most normals you see. It almost looks a little bit leopardy, but we know it's not a leopard. Uh, it didn't come from anything that was het pied or anything like that, or anything that was a leopard. So probably just a nice normal, but we decided to keep him anyways. Uh, his head is actually what looks really different, but he's in shed. I don't want to bother him too much. And in this bin here, we have this animal that we hatched out uh, two years ago. This is a black pewter um, pastel butter. So basically, it's a super pastel black pastel butter. Got four jeans going on in there. Uh, quite nice looking. Uh, stayed really bright. Just as bright as he was uh, when he was born. Which is cool because typically ball pythons, they darken up as they get older. Um, this is an animal that we would uh, we would be open to taking offers on him. 
He sold his uh, sibling, who was basically that, but with spider on top of it. And here we got another animal that we got at the same time as that Mojave uh, spot nose yellow belly female. This also came from Don Patterson. This right here is a uh, Toffino, which is basically what you get when you breed a toffee to an albino. By the way, guys, um, toffee is the same thing as a candy. Um, so yeah, so basically you could call this a candino if you'd like as well. This guy is really nice. Um, the color is just fantastic. Shows up pretty well on camera. I find these to be a lot nicer than the uh, lavender albinos. I mean, the pink is just, well, the pinkish purple is just very nice on these animals. And you can see it's very intense on the head. Now we'll go to another pink and yellow animal. And let me try to get a little bit out of here so we don't have that much shadow. There you go. This right here is that banana enchi that you guys saw in a previous video. So we won't focus too much on this guy, but you could see, you could tell he's already gotten a bit bigger. Um, not gonna lie, I've been feeding him a little bit more often than we feed the other snakes. He eats about once every five days. Really anxious to breed him to the banana fire uh, spider female in a year or two years time. And beside him, we have our female chocolate butter ghost we produced her last year she's growing like a weed as you can see um, she's also going to be due pretty soon for a bigger cage or bigger tub i should say and then i'll pull out her brother right beside her so you guys can see the difference between the ghost and the uh just regular well regular the butter uh chocolate that doesn't have ghosts in it so you can see they're both pretty nice um the orange ghost does lighten it up a lot. I kind of maybe actually prefer it without the ghost because I find the contrast to be greater. I find it looks a little bit cooler. And uh, we'll probably breed him to the uh, super chocolate ghost female, which luckily the last video I did, she wasn't shed and she actually shed out today. So we'll be able to see her looking great. And this right here is just a chocolate, 100% head ghost. And uh, a lot of these animals are available for uh, are available for sale. Sorry, guys. And this here is a black pastel butter ghost. Um, this is a male right here. Uh, that last, that chocolate, 100% head ghost was a male as well. These two are both for sale, as are most of the animals you're going to see in the video. Um, if anything's not for sale, I mean, worst you could do is ask for it, and I'll just say, no, sorry, that's not for sale. But if you guys are interested, just let us know. We're located, like I said, in Canada, so it's very difficult for us to ship to the States. Um, you'd really have to choose, like, a couple of animals to make it worth your while, just because the price of shipping to the States is almost the equivalent of a, uh, I guess, a, a medium-end ball python, so you're probably better off just buying an extra snake and getting the same thing. Uh, down there in the states than buying from us up here, but if you have a if there's like a bunch of animals you want then maybe it could be worth it uh, Anyways, this right here is a female black pastel ghost. So that was her brother here He obviously has the butter in him. This is just black pastel and ghosts and you guys can see quite a nice snake purple and oranges are really nice uh, Typically orange ghosts in my opinion works really well with the darker morphs uh, the darker base morphs and this is the same thing it's a male so we have 1.1 black pastel ghosts if anybody's interested sorry if I'm going a bit fast here guys just want to make sorry about that guys that quick little cutaway there uh, of course the phone ran out of storage uh, I only have a 16 gig iPhone so eh, it gets kind of difficult to fit all this content or content all these apps on my phone and whatnot so yeah the video just cut short so i'm gonna try to kick it into a uh, second gear here uh this is a queen bee female as you can see very nice <laughs> this is gonna be rushed but anyways at least you guys will get um the ability to see all the animals we have another queen bee this is a male over here we'll get some lesser bees just quick 
Uh, this one's in shed, so no point in really looking at her. This right here is a lesser bee that's not in shed, and obviously, if you guys didn't know the difference between a lesser bee and a queen bee, the queen bee has pastel in it. The queen bee is a um, a lesser pastel spider, whereas this is just a lesser spider. All right, this ain't nothing too special, but if you guys are looking to get a cheap snake with some cool jeans in it, uh, this is a pastel male double hex for genetic stripe and hypo. And this right here is a regular orange ghost, quite nice. Uh, orange ghost, orange hypo, same thing by the way guys. I'll probably switch between the two names periodically here. This animal, it, not too sure what it is. Uh, it, sh it came out of a clutch that should make it a firefly, but um, we kind of messed up. We had a bunch of pastel enchies that hatched, and we're not too sure where this guy came from. He's definitely not just a regular pastel. Uh, he's a male. If anybody's interested, if you get a uh, double for pretty cheap. We're just looking to sell this guy off. And this right here is a female pastel enchie in shed, obviously. Uh, pastel enchies look terrible when they're in shed. This male is probably going to go into shed soon, but this is the male. So if you guys are interested in pastel enchi, you can do a lot of cool things with enchi. Uh, pastel specter female over here. We actually have two pastel specters. Uh, they came from our super stripe. And uh, when you breed a super stripe, you could only get yellow bellies um, and specters. You can't get any normals. And you guys can see that these guys are not yellow bellies. Therefore, they are specters. Those are both female, by the way. And this over here is a yellow belly. And uh, the sex is actually not marked on that one, which is weird because it's like a year and a half old. Anyways. And we'll take a little bit more time to focus on this girl here. She just shed. Um, the purple is amazing on her. This... Uh, this snake I would describe as being stupid beautiful, um, just incredible really. I mean, like I said earlier, the darker the snake, typically the cooler it'll be when you add um, orange hypo slash orange ghost to it. Great female, uh, always eats even when in shed. Really looking forward to watching her today. I think she'll look spectacular when she's uh, you know, above uh, 1600 grams. This right here is a pastel mochi. Um, actually, I will show you guys one adult just because uh, out of all the snakes we produce, this is probably one of my favorites just because she grew like an absolute beast. Um, this is what a pastel mochi looks like as an adult. This is our adult female. Good breeder this year. Really excited about that. Um, so yeah, that's a male here. And then without the... Um, the pastel in it, you have just a regular mochi, which is a Mojave Enchi, by the way. As I told you guys earlier, you can do lots of cool stuff with Enchi. If you guys are interested in those two males, let me know. Speaking of cool males, we have this uh, Marvel Ball here, otherwise known as a Pastel Super Stripe. And um, you want to talk about it, the difference that adding pastel can make in a morph. I mean, Super Stripes look totally different without the pastel in them. Uh, than they do when you add pastel. I mean, you can see the snake uh, just has a totally white head and these cool white flames going up the, its sides. Really cool. This animal is also for sale just because, you know, like I said, all it is is a pastel super stripe and we have a super stripe that's a, an adult already. Uh, another pastel enchi here. I believe this one is a girl. That one actually looks a little bit nicer than the other two. Unfortunately, pastel NGs don't stay too nice as they get older, but it is what it is. Uh, this is actually just a regular NG. It just so happens to be very nice. Again, not too sure of the sex on that one. Uh, before we sell all our animals, we obviously resex them all to make sure uh, you get what you're paying for. Um, we've never had an issue with any of our animals being missexed or mislabeled. So. Um, anyways, this is a chocolate ghost. Again, back to those dark morphs, you add hypo, you get pretty cool looking animals. Um, just because, you know, the darker the animal is, the more that purple pop. And you guys can see this one has a lot more pattern 
and this one here. That one's kind of a reduced pattern. Two very nice chocolates, either way, the chocolate ghosts. Um, Alright, let's see if we can continue along here. I just did that one. Here we have a black pastel butter ghost. That's how they look like when they're babies. Uh, him, along with her over here, this is a butter ghost, are only two hatchlings of the year that have still not moved on to Frozen yet. Kind of a pain in my ass, but what could you do? Orange ghost from that same clutch. And you guys can see the difference here between when an animal feeds well and when it doesn't feed so well. These two are actually the same age. Actually, this whole clutch is the same age. This one just got onto Frozen, so it'll catch up in no time. But you can see this one is much bigger. And we have a couple more animals left to show here. Uh, this right here, I believe, is... Again, these are animals that are either specters or yellow bellies. Some of them are hard to tell. I believe this is a pastel specter. I'm sibling to the, uh, the uh, Marble Ball. And this one, same thing. Kind of hard to tell. And another one. So, three of those. Not determined whether they're yellow belly or super stripes, uh, not super stripes specters yet. And then here we have uh, three little baby geckos. These guys were kind of born out of season, so we just have three of them right now. This right here is a Mac Raptor. And this one is actually in shed, but that is a Super Raptor, um, which is a Super Snow Raptor. And it is possible giant as well. And this right here is just a regular eclipse. So that's the baby rack, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this time I uploaded and things go off without a hitch. Uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. Stay tuned. We're going to go over the males and the females. That's 36 adults here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 more or so. Uh, 47 animals, 47 big ball pythons in the next video. Alright guys, take care. Bye.